गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल टैटू वाला टॉक्स दिस इज योर दोस्त एंड होस्ट राहुल वेंकट फ्रॉम इंकवेल टैटू स्टूडियो मुंबई so today's video is going to be a travel video and a travel vlog so this content i have bought to you before also but the content is going to be the same but the experience is going to be way different and i'm going to enjoy this whole road trip and by the way this is going to be a solo road trip and i'm going to travel down to chennai my hometown which is 1500 kilometers from mumbai so this video i'm planning to do in two parts that is part 1 is mumbai to bangalore and part 2 will be from bangalore to chennai so i hope you guys are going to enjoy this whole travel vlog and uh, yeah i'm going to have a wonderful experience taking you guys virtually from mumbai to chennai also i want to say that watch this whole video till the end and uh, also watch my part 2 because it's going to be an amazing you know two parts video of uh, my travel journey so it's 9:55 on the clock and i'm planning to start by around uh, 10:30 Uh, 10:30 I'll start from my home. I have a quick work for my vehicle that is my alignment and balancing check because uh, since I'm going to travel 1500 kilometers my tires and my uh, air pressure my balancing all should be in the right place. So I'm going to start from home head to my uh, alignment shop and from there we're going to start our journey to Bangalore and from there it's Chennai. So with full josh let's start our journey. So guys uh, this is my car which is going to travel to Chennai and last night I had kept my few of my luggages in the boot so I have some now Ganpati Bappa Moria So guys I am starting now it's 10:18 So guys uh, if i take this left i reach balaji tires balaji tires is over here and uh, let's do our alignment and then head straight to bangalore So guys now the balancing is done so I'm going to put my car onto my right hand side there is where the alignment happens so Guys finally the alignment and balancing is done we are all set गणपति बाप्पा मोरिया सो गाइज नाउ आई हैव रीच द वाशी टोल प्लाजा व्हिच इज द नवी मुंबई एंट्रेंस the first toll plaza of uh, mumbai pune express highway which is called uh, the kalapur toll there are uh, two uh, tolls that you have to pass if you are traveling uh, from the express highway one is kalapur and one is talegaon so after the toll i'm going to stop at the petrol pump and uh, fuel up my car the usual uh, hp pump where i uh, stop always so uh, 
I'll stop for a quick uh, fuel break and uh, we'll continue from there. So guys, I have stopped at the usual HP petrol bunk where I always stop and uh, you can see my car is getting fueled up over there. So I am presently in Khalapur and uh, gonna head straight to the express. I am not gonna stop here for any chai or anything because I want to cope up with the time. one unfortunate thing happened this is oil light or this some blinking happening I think I have to check my engine oil I've stopped in the guard section over here so guys after uh, 10 minutes the light is gone I checked my oil level also and I spoke to my mechanic as well so he said that if the oil level is right there's no problem so Bhagwan ka naam lete and nikalte hai se so ahead what you see is uh, the Talegao toll plaza which is the second exit of uh, the Mumbai Pune Express Highway so uh, here again after the toll I am going to stop at the McDonald's and have some food <laughs> because it's uh, 2.11 exactly and uh, my stomach is grumbling now. So in Talega of this uh, Bharat petrol pump outlet has the McDonald's so I usually stop here for uh, food. So it's exactly lunch time now as I said and uh, less traffic also I mean uh, cars around parked over here so I'll go grab some lunch. Guys my uh, lunch is here I've ordered uh, for a aloo tiki burger fries and a strawberry shake on the go. So guys, after a wonderful lunch at uh, McD's have now started and uh, Pune is about 10 kilometers from here. We are in the outskirts of uh, Pune city. We have, uh, we have uh, crossed Patraj and uh, oh, I guess that Patraj tunnel will come. Shivapur Toll Plaza. Kate Shivapur is immediately after Pune. A lot of you guys might have been to uh, Tirupati Balaji Temple. So that Balaji Temple comes after this Kate Shivapur Toll. Now we are going to start the Satara Ghat section 
and uh, here you can see the road is dividing into two that is this side is the upwards and the right hand side traffic is the down section guard so uh, the hard is the climbing part which is where we are now so i'm gonna show you a whole time lapse enjoy the time lapse Guys, we have reached uh, Y now, and uh, you can see this horse statue over here. So this is the you know uh, identification that we have uh, come down the ghat, and uh, we have reached Y. Y W A I. And once this Satara starts. you know we have this problem of this continuous rumblers on the highways also now uh, after the toll you'll get to see those rumblers on the road so it's very irritating to drive over it he's selling strawberries because uh, why mahabaleshwar is very close by that's why friends now we are crossing uh, satara city this is the bypass the city junction has gone behind now the next place is going to be karad which is going to be like uh, i guess 60 to 70 kilometers from here and then uh, kolapur which is 130 kilometers approximately So guys the sign board says Karad 43 Kolapur 113 Bangalore 725 km wow I hope you guys are uh, enjoying the video and uh, now the best part of the Satara Kolapur road has started like this four lane road is very smooth only the problem as i said there'll be some rumblers in between during the crossing and all so that is a long stretch of rumblers and it's pretty irritating otherwise the road is very smooth so guys we have reached uh, taswadi toll plaza So guys, we have reached Karad city, and uh, the board says Bangalore 683, Belgaum 183. So uh, before Belgaum, we'll have the check post, Maharashtra Karnataka check post. So I'm super excited. Pass the border. This is a sneak peek of Karad city. a lot of uh, traffic around i was talking about these are the rumblers very irritating so guys itna ganna dekhne ke baad soch raha hu ki ruk ke ganne ka juice hi pi ke chalta hu sa sham ka 5:30 baj chuka hai गन्ने का जूस यहाँ पे पीऊंगा उसके बाद शायद 
कोलापुर में जाके चाय पीते हैं एग्जैक्टली द गोल्डन आर 5:30 थर्टी एंड शुगर केन जूस का बहुत आनंद उठा लिया है मैंने सो गाइज फ्रॉम यूर कोलापुर इज अबाउट सेवेंटी किलोमीटर्स फ्रेंड्स द सन इज ऑलमोस्ट गोइंग टू सेट नाउ एंड इट्स सिक्स थर्टी पी एम ऑन द क्लॉक वी आर ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर्स अवे फ्रॉम कोलापुर so friends we have reached the kini toll plaza which is uh, 20 kilometers before uh, kolapur the board says kolapur 11 kilometers belgao 121 so within the next 10 minutes we'll be reaching kolapur so guys we have reached uh, kolapur now and it's exactly 6:45 on the clock i am planning to stop here for a quick tea break and then uh, start my journey guys it feels like a festival season over here all the hotels are completely littered up and it's uh, 7 pm on the clock i am about uh, 20 to 25 kilometers away from uh, the maharashtra karnataka border so the sign board says bangalore 603 kilometers belgaum 101 so i am almost nearing the Karnataka borders. I'm super excited, guys. So, guys, uh, I'm showing you guys a different camera angle because now I'm gonna enter the Karnataka border. So, if at all I get stopped for my RT-PCR and uh, report and all, so I would be able to show you footages. So that's why I have bought this angle. Guys, I've reached the border, and uh, I guess there's no RT-PCR check happening over here. So, guys, we have reached the first toll gate of uh, Karnataka. so it's exactly 722 and i've entered uh, the karnataka border belgaum is 86 kilometers from here this is my first karnataka toll welcome to karnataka guys friends we have uh, entered the karnataka roads and uh, drastically there is a change in the whole road smoothness and everything i must say karnataka roads are amazing there is no bumps the, the drive feel is very smooth so guys we have reached the second toll booth of uh, the karnataka state it's called hatargi so guys belgaum is 10 kilometers from here and uh, i can see a board which says chennai 
811 kilometers. So my final destination is going to be like approximately 820 kilometers, I guess, from here. That's how much I have to drive more. Dharwad is 77 kilometers from here. So after Dharwad is Hubli, and uh, Hubli Dharwad is a one-way road. So we have to be very cautious while driving on that Hubli Dharwad road. And I love to drive on that road, especially. The view during the daytime is amazing, out of the world. Here we are in uh, Belgavi city and uh, the city looks very bright. Some parties happening on the left hand side. Very broad roads. So guys, we have reached Hari Bagi Wadi Belgav Darwad Toll. So guys, I found a Rajasthani hotel over here and it's a dhaba actually, not a hotel. So, thoda sa, I'll make my dinner more exciting and so this would add a little bit more fun to my dinner let's have a daba experience so guys uh, this is the daba that i have stopped it's called samarthal daba the rajasthani daba and uh, let me show you the whole inside uh, how it's looking and uh, the whole chairs and all are there but you have the authentic daba feeling also so you can sit and have in the katta that is the bakra so Masalame, so guys, I have ordered my uh, dinner and it's a proper Rajasthani dhaba before Dharwad. Uh, Dharwad is about uh, 50 kilometers from here. So I saw this Rajasthani dhaba board and all the trucks standing. So I thought I'll have dinner over here because after this, I don't know when I'm gonna have the North Indian style of food. So guys check this out some amazing roti and uh, this is shaved tomato guys the dal and uh, jeera rice is also here so I'm just cleaning my windshield because uh, there's a lot of spots and uh, now I'm gonna hit the Hubli road so I need my windshield to be very clean and uh, visible. 